كن سعيدا كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى Before I get involved in anything nowadays, I have to straighten out my own position. And which is clear, I am not a racist in any form whatsoever. I don't believe in any form of racism. I don't believe in any form of discrimination or segregation. I believe in Islam. I'm a Muslim. And there's nothing wrong with being, being a Muslim. Nothing wrong with the religion of Islam. It just teaches us to believe in Allah as the God. And those of you who are Christians probably believe in the same God. Because I think you believe in the God who created the universe, and that's the one we believe in, the one who created the universe. The only difference being, you call him uh, God, and, and I, we call him Allah. Jews call him Jehovah. If you could understand Hebrew, you'd probably call him Jehovah too. Uh, if you could understand Arabic, you'd probably call him Allah. But since, since the white man, your friend, took your language away from you during slavery, the only language you know is his language, you know, your friend's language. So you call him, you call for the same God he calls for. When he's putting a rope around your neck, you call for God, and he calls for God. And you, and you wonder why the one you call on never answers you. So that uh, once you realize that uh, I believe in the Supreme Being who created the universe and believe in Him as being one. I also have been taught in Islam that that one God who only has one religion, and that religion is called Islam, and all of the prophets who came forth taught that religion. Abraham, Moses, Jesus, Muhammad, all of them. And uh, by believing in one God and one religion and all of the prophets, it creates unity. If there's no room for argument, uh, no need for us to be arguing with each other. And also in that religion, uh, of the real religion of Islam. And when I was in the black Muslim movement, I wasn't, they didn't have the real religion of Islam in that movement. It was something else. And, uh, but the real religion of Islam doesn't teach anyone to judge another human being by the color of his skin. The yardstick that is used by the Muslim to uh, measure another man is not the man's color, but the man's deeds man's conscious behavior, the man's intentions. And when you use that as a standard of measurement or judgment, you never go wrong. But when you just judge a man because of the color of his skin, then you're committing a crime because that's the worst kind of judgment. If you judge him just because he was a Jew, that's not as bad as judging him because he's black. Because a Jew can hide his religion. He can say he's something else, which a lot of them do that. They say they're something else. But the black man can't hide. When they start indicting us because of our color, that means we're indicted before we're born, which is the worst kind of crime that can be committed. And the, uh, the Muslim religion has eliminated all tendencies to judge a man according to the color of his skin, but rather the judgment is based upon his deeds. And when, prior to going to, into the Muslim world, I, I didn't have any I didn't have, uh, Elijah Muhammad had taught us that the white man could not enter into Mecca in Arabia, and all of us who followed him, we believed it, and he said the reason he couldn't enter was because he's white and inherently evil, and it's impossible to change him. And uh, the only thing that would change him is Islam, and he can't accept Islam because by nature he's evil, and therefore by not being able to accept Islam and become a Muslim, he could never enter Mecca. And uh, this is how he taught us. And you know, and so when I got over there and went to Mecca and saw these people who blonde and blue-eyed and pale skin and all those things, I said, well, but I, I watched them closely and I noticed that there was, though they were white and they would call themselves white, there was a difference between them and the white one over here. And that basic difference was this, uh, in, the, in Asia or the Arab world or in Africa where the Muslims are, if you find one who says he's white, uh, all he's doing is using an adjective put to describe something that's in incidental about him, one of his inst incidental characteristics. So there's nothing else to it. He's just white. But when you get the white man over here in America and he says he's white, he means something else. You can listen to the sound of his voice when he says he's white. He means he's boss. That's right. That's what white means in this, in this language. You know the expression free, white, and 21? 
He made that up. He's letting you know all of them mean the same. White means free, boss. He's up there. So that when he says he's white, he has a little different sound in his voice. And I know you know what I'm talking about. He, he, uh, and uh, this was what I saw was missing in the Muslim world. If they said they were white, it was incidental. White, black, brown, red, yellow. It doesn't make any difference what color you are. And so this was the religion that I had accepted and had gone there to get a better knowledge of it. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يا أيها الذين آمنوا كونوا قوامين لله شهداء بالقسط ولا يجرمنكم شنآن قوم على ألا تعدلوا اعدلوا هو أقرب للتقوى واتقوا الله إن الله خبير بما تعملون كن سعيدا كن فريدا عش بفخر في الحياة لا تبالي فالمعالي بالتحدي لا سوى